Now, building on the inquiry process of project-based learning, we have design-based learning. Now, this again has a more specific emphasis on the design process, and in particular, the iterative cyclical process of designing, where students learn through doing something and then redoing it. A um, little bit like we'd use in drafting in English, um, or doing multiple problem sets in mathematics. Very often in project-based learning, the projects are so complex and involved, there is generally time only to go through the cycle once. Design-based learning emphasizes the need to go through more than once, where students create their designs, develop their solutions, ideally have them fail, evaluate why they failed, and then go back and look at how to redesign and rebuild their solutions so that they are then successful. And the more iterations and the more failures, the greater the learning potential. So that's essentially the emphasis of design-based learning. Still uses the project-based learning structure, but it has that emphasis on design and redesign through the process of implementing the solutions, having them fail, and re-engaging with that design process. So think about design-based learning and how you can incorporate opportunities for that in your teaching of technologies education.